Watch him put. Hi, sweetie. Oh. You coming in secret? Oh, our you want some squash? I'm Carisha Swanson with House Beautiful, and we're building the dream in Colorado. We are in the kitchen of my home in Mamaroneck, New York. I started designing, honestly, when I was like 10 years old, I started ripping apart my, my family's home and painting and wallpapering. And my parents were kind of mortified because they really could have cared less what the house looked like. I'm working on the kitchen and the pantry for this house. We're envisioning the client to be a active, um, health conscious, young family potentially with um, extended family living with them. So a multi-generational household. The other focus of our kitchen is that we would really like to have it feel like a gathering place for the whole family. And one thing I think is so special about this kitchen is that you actually have a view from the sink looking straight out to the Rocky Mountains. And so I wanted that space to really feel special and really feel like a gathering place for the whole family. We're here at DLV Designs in Red Hook, Brooklyn to check out their hardware. So let's head on inside. So we're here looking for hardware and hopefully we're gonna take a look at some counter stools as well. I chose DLV Designs because their work is all handmade. Um, the finishes are hand done and it just gives um, such an amazing kind of tactile feel to a space to have truly handmade pieces, um, especially for the hardware, which is kind of like uh, the jewelry for the kitchen. Hey Mark! Hey Sarah, I'm Sarah. welcome! Nice to meet you! Thanks for coming. I'm so excited to be here, to see you in this amazing space. This is such a gorgeous studio here. We laid out an assortment of uh, our most popular uh, pulls in some of the most oh popular my finishes. God. Oh my god. It's going to be so hard to choose. And I love your finishes. Um, and the combination of the black with the brass, I think we're gonna have to do something like that, right? So I could, I could really see using these on our drawers. Um, and then I love this pole for our appliance poles. We would want to, you know, do some sort of a mix of the black and the antique brass. And that's exactly how we designed the collection to work. To, to, to mix and match, Mix yeah. and match, and yeah. that way it doesn't look like it just came out of a... Right. Uh, a showroom instead, it was kind of born with a lot of more consideration. Yeah, just, just gonna be knockout. I'm I so love excited. It. So are we, we love what we do here. It's, we, it's like playing all day long. Oh my goodness, what are these? This is the new uh, Giacometti inspired counter stool. This is the white oh bronze finish. Oh my god, look at that finish. The oil rub bronze finish. Each one is carved by hand, it's all unique. Do you want to see one finish? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. All right. All right, so oh, this, this is the is finished product. So gorgeous. Thank you. Oh my God, this leather is amazing too. Yeah, there's a mauve color. That yeah. I the, the distress and the kind of the waxy finish. Oh my God, I feel like this would be so perfect this for is our, our kitchen. Oh, this is our cast uh, iron finish, but it is oh, yeah. still cast in aluminum, so it's only yeah, 25, try. 30 pounds. Yeah, no, which that's is not critical bad. in a piece of seating. Right, and it's yeah. important to us because we want to make sure that the kitchen is, you know, that it's kid friendly, it's elderly go. friendly, you know, all ages. So this is Carla Zinman. She's been helping me with this project. We're here in uh, the breakfast area of my home, which is where I meet with a lot of my clients. I'm gonna start around here and sort of walk you through our process of picking materials. And really one of the first decisions that we had to make was how to orient the cooking versus the cleanup. Um, so we decided really our best view is out the window this direction, which resulted in us deciding, let's keep the cooking surface here and then we'll eventually you know, put the cleanup and so on here. We started with wanting to use this beautiful alder wood um, because it's it's a tree that uh, naturally grows in Colorado. So we also wanted to combine that with something that felt a little more modern. And so we took uh, this concept of um, a corn shed, which has these uh, thin battens, and we took that 
texture and wove it into this door style that we're mixing with the alder. And then we were looking for, you know, what do we want to mix with that in terms of a tile, which was a challenge, but we ultimately found um, this Zia tile, which is a Zalige, and has this lovely texture to it. And we brought in two colors. We thought that the color blocking would be fun. So we want to talk a little bit about the evolution of this puzzle pattern that um, has become sort of the theme for the kitchen. I initially saw this pattern online and realized that we could use it as a wallpaper, but then realized we could also, you know, bring it in other places and have it sort of become a theme. Architectural Grill took that pattern and, and interpreted it for us into this wire grill that's going to be on all of our doors. When we went to pick our countertop material, we had, there were a lot of Caesar stone materials that we were excited about, but we ultimately decided that we liked this sense of um, bringing in a marble that had some movement. The Preservation Pantry is about being able to take um, healthy, fresh foods and extend their shelf life. We're going to use the Container Store's Alpha Custom Shelving System to keep everything organized and tidy. We used kind of a bold, amazing um, uh, wallpaper by Spoonflower and we integrated um, some of the same colors into the tile that's going to be on the floor, which is this uh, Desert Rose from, <laughs> yeah, from, from Zia, Zia tile. from Zia Tile. We got to work with Spoonflower um, to make custom colors for us. And I cannot wait to see what yeah. it looks like. So these are examples of some of the baskets that we're gonna be using in the storage pantry. Um, these are from the container store and just absolutely love them. Hi, House Beautiful. So Sarah and I did about 100 renderings of this kitchen, but now the decisions have been made and they are final, and we cannot wait to show you. So Carisha's at the job site, and she said that the Signature Kitchen Suite appliances are being installed as we speak, which means all we have to do, we have to get the panels installed on the fronts of them, and the kitchen is nearly done. We're so excited. I just got back from a very dusty job site and there are something like four different places for LK faucets to go. So I don't know what Sarah has planned. And I saw the container store guys out there making sure all the measurements were right for that pantry. I can't wait to see how this all comes together. Hey, Carisha. Hi, Hi Carisha. ladies. So now you've had a chance to see a lot of progress. Is this what you expected it to be? I'm just so excited about how it's all pulling together. And I was really nervous about the cabinet stain color. Okay. I was so nervous that it was gonna to be too dark. And now that everything's come together, I feel like it's all working. I got all of these texts like, oh my God, this, this stain color is too gray. I'm freaking out, but it looks, it looks amazing. I'm so happy. And it's interesting because like you guys have basically had to design this virtually and to design a space that's this technical from the other side of the country, essentially. You just never really know. You know, you're working with samples, but to see it in real life, like you said, you were so freaked out about the scene. Right. Are there elements that definitely, now that you see them, you're like, oh my God, yes. And are there other elements that you've, you're like, that's not exactly what I thought, but maybe <laughs> it still works. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm so excited about the wood choice with a little bit of naughtiness in the alder. Um, I'm really excited about how the tile is working. It all feels like it's really coming together. The iridescence on the tile, the, yeah. the reflectivity, it's just, it looks so cool, especially in the space with all the windows and the lighting. The other thing I know that you guys have hiding in this space is the pantry. And Carla, I know you put a lot of love into that space. Uh, are you happy with the way that turned out? I am so happy. <laughs> I think the color and just the lighting in there, we did a you know dark painted ceiling 
um, the way it works with the lighting, it just looks so good. This is that big moment when we get to fill the drawers. All those drawers that we planned for all these things, I now know. we get to put the things in them, so that's exciting. Sarah and Carla still have quite a bit to do to make sure that kitchen feels complete, including making sure the panel fronts go onto the signature kitchen suite fridge and freezer. In the meantime, I'm gonna go visit Steven at Architectural Grill. His company is making the beautiful inserts that are gonna go onto the cabinet fronts. Uh, welcome to Architectural Grill, my family third generation business. My grandfather started business in 1940. We started in Manhattan, we moved, we, we moved into Brooklyn, and we've been here ever since. Architectural Grill is a custom metal manufacturer with a specialization in grill work. We do all types of custom interior metal, so whether it be kitchen interiors, uh, grill work for air conditioning and heating, uh, decorative pieces, furniture, artwork. We work in all types of metal, aluminum, brass, bronze, stainless steel, all types of finishes. For Sarah, we're doing an infill panel for her cabinet doors, and it's going to be a bronze perforated panel. We ended up calling it an enigma because it looked sort of like a puzzle. We pride ourselves on our, our attention to detail, so whether it be our finishes, our welding, we have 67 uh, quality craftsmen here at Architectural Grill. And, and we're proud of that fact. So there's still that human element that, that goes into every piece that we do. What I enjoy about working at Architectural Grill is we are getting the opportunity to take somebody's ideas and take them out of a raw piece of metal, stone, you know, glass, what have you, and, and create something that a client wants in their house. I have to say that this process has been very exciting. Um, many moving parts. Um, having it all be a remote project for us added its um, levels of difficulty, but we've made it through. The kitchen's nearly done, and we're so excited for Carisha to see it for the first time. Okay guys, this is unbelievable. I know I saw it the other day. There was still a little bit left to do. The fridge didn't have a door. <laughs> Just a few little minor details, but this looks amazing. Is this really what you envisioned from the Gatton? This is kind of exactly what we envisioned. I have to say that we had so much fun playing around in CAD ahead of time that kind of walking in here was like, wow, it, it's done, it's, <laughs> it's, it's done. real, you know? Yeah. We were talking about how you spend so much time in a space, you sort of, like you're looking at every single inch and when you see it come to life and it's how you imagined it, it's, it's really a nice feeling. Well, I have to say one of the things you guys, I think did so successfully is it looks like a family could move right in. It doesn't look brand spanking new, like some new kitchens do. How did you do that in a way that feels so natural? I think it's really all about the mix and, and really bringing in pieces that all kind of work together but and play nicely together, but aren't matchy. So you're mixing all these materials, which I think makes it feel just a little more authentic when you, when you combine things that way. So you created this for a multi-generational family, right? Right. The kitchen's designed so that it's accessible to multi-generational um, and everyone can sort of participate in the cooking process. And um, that was kind of our thinking. We wanted it to feel like a living space, you know, not necessarily a workspace or a kitcheny space. Are you ready to give me a tour? Yeah, I'd yeah. love to give you a tour. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll let you guys do the tour. I've got a couple of things I want to do in the pantry Still. before you guys <laughs> come in. A designer's work so. is never done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good. <laughs> okay, so is this where we're going to get started? Yeah, absolutely. 
a refrigerator from Signature Kitchen Suite. And this is beautiful, but kind of feels like a departure for, from like the rest of the space. Yeah, so, so what we were thinking about here was some of the rural buildings where you see this batten construction. Mm. Um, and I was always really intrigued by that texture. I thought it would be really cool to bring in some of it in this kitchen. We have a surprise to show you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I, I love a good surprise. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, this is pretty outstanding. So this is what, like my, my little breakfast corner? This is our breakfast bar, exactly. So it's not just for breakfast though, it's also for grab and go for snacks yeah. um, and water. There is a pot filler in this so, space. So the thinking is there that we have our water bottle, right? Yeah. They could fill up their water bottles or you can swing it around and fill up the reservoir for the coffee. So what I love when I look here is just that it seems like you've really created a beautiful kind of symmetry. We were thinking that the main viewpoint of the kitchen would be from the family area, kind of looking right. in. And we wanted to have a strong symmetry here, um, but at the same time, we needed different functionalities for sure. the cabinetry. So that's a little bit of a challenge. So one thing we did over here was we wanted this to look like drawers because we needed drawers on that side. On the other side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we created an appliance garage door here that nice. looks like drawers, has the same hardware. Um, so we have that look of symmetry. Right. Over here, of course, you've got the granddaddy of ranges here. This 48 inch range from Signature Kitchen Suite. Uh, we worked on some big pullouts here. Um, Somebody oils. loves oils. olive oil. Oils, vinegar, <laughs> maybe, I love a few, it. maybe a few spices mixed in here because yeah. there's so much room, right? So then you have all the tools you need for anything you're doing here. Exactly. Yeah. The dishes down here where your kids can help, you know, with setting the table and so on. Sure. Easily reachable. Um, we have these pegs inside that are adjustable. And the fanciest pegs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yep. With antique brass on top. Why not? Because <laughs> we wanted to be fancy. We wanted it to feel like a living space. Yeah. Um, because it's so open. You know, right. Like the whole area is open. And so we wanted to bring in that, that warmth and kind of comfort of having some artwork in the kitchen. We didn't have a lot of space for it, but right. we realized that the range hood was like the perfect spot. It is the perfect spot. <laughs> and we had a local artist who did this piece for us and brought in, you know, the colors of Colorado. She's a, a Denver native. And so should we pivot to this tiny little island? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's talk about the workhorse, the island, right? Yeah. We had to compromise because the material came um, a little bit thicker than what we had spec'd. So we had to make some quick decisions. So our thinking with this was that the views here are really out towards the Rockies from mm -hmm. the sink. And so there was a lot of thinking behind, do we put the sink here? Do right. we have the sink this way? Um, but we decided that since the views were here and this is kind of the big, you know, workstation yeah. within the kitchen um, to have the views for the person working at the sink. I have one more thing to show you. Okay. It's for the family dog. We didn't want to leave out the family dog in all of our storage. So I can believe me... that. I think every single Coloradan I've met has a dog. <laughs> yes. And, and we didn't want anyone to feel left out. Yes. So we created a feeding and watering station nice. for our, your furry friends. So we have a water spigot and we have this great pullout for dog food down here. Oh, that's so this fun. Lovely little the container. And all the leashes and, and toys. To leashes and treats <laughs> and all of that. I love this. I mean, what you've created here is so functional, but also so beautiful. And that's really what you want in a kitchen, especially one as open as this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that was our thinking was we wanted it to be you know, everything in its place. So absolutely. As well as just a beautiful welcoming space. So let's go and see what Carla has in store for us in the pantry. Is she ready? I hope so. Carla? Hi guys. Yes, okay. I'm okay. ready. Perfect. Yay. Okay. I want this tour. <laughs> it <laughs> just is walking in. It's so pretty beautiful. Amazing. It's so pretty. Well, you have certainly made a lot of progress in this space in a very short amount of time. <laughs> So, you know, this really feeds off of the kitchen, but has such a bold design. Yeah, when we decided to remove the door in rendition like 150, <laughs> we, um, we really wanted to go bold in here in color and in pattern, and it really paid off. It looks just, it looks just 
stunning. Um, this is not a normal pantry that, you know, you've got a ton of different storage in here. Talk about kind of what you can do in such a small space. Well, we wanted to maximize the space because it's, it's pretty small. Yeah. Um, so this is sort of a hidden um, corner and it, it really takes advantage of the entire corner space um, and gives some ample storage so that you can um, do everything you need to do in here. I mean, this is, like I said, it's supposed to be a workhorse. Well, I mean, there's certain processes that people need to think about in terms of what you need to do when you are using fresh produce. And some of it is just about the fact that there's a little bit more prep, there's a little bit more washing. Um, things don't come sort of clean the way they do often from the store. Um, so we wanted to make sure there was a good space for that. And, and this, this very amazing machine by Iranox is a professional canner. So you can essentially take the produce from the garden, um, wash it, can it, and store it. It becomes an easy space to use. So, you know, working in a space this small, it really shows how much you can fit into a small space, a ton of storage, a ton of function. So I'm glad to see just how much you were able to put in here. Do you want to go out and back into the main kitchen? Yes. OK, let's great. Go. <laughs> I mean, really, when I think about what you guys have done in the pantry, what you guys have done out here, it's pretty phenomenal. And to create this, having to kind of imagine the family that would live here on this beautiful land, is astonishing. <laughs> so congratulations on making something so beautiful. And I'm so glad it met what you guys expected. Yeah, thank you. I mean, this was such a fun process and I think it's time for us to actually enjoy the space. So should we take a step over and sit down on these comfy stools uh, and I hang out a bit? I think it is time, but we need a chef. Can we call one up? <laughs> I would think we can find in there. I think so too. All right, let's do that. All right.